here this week at the French Open, up against the reigning Olympic champions, Li Yang and Wang Chulin. Well, of course, so with the number two seeds, it means that it is the fourth quarter of the draw, as you can see there. Uh, there's more former world number ones in this section of the draw, the number seven seeds, Alfian and Ardianto. I'll put into the mix the winners from last week at the German Open, Li Zhe and Yang Po Xuan. Well, it's a very, very tough section of the men's doubles draw. Four courts in action, as you can see here in this wonderful arena. 8,000 seats for sporting events. And when I walked in today, I was absolutely struck by the wow factor of what a wonderful venue this is. Here come our players for our sixth match of the day. Led out by the Olympic champions, Li Yang, in fact, is a winner of the French Open in the past. Uh, that was in 2017 with his former partner, Li Zhe uh, But for he, him and his partner, Wang Chilin, they're making their third appearance here at the French Open as a combination. As indeed are the Chinese number two seeds. Now, as you can see, this is a third meeting between these two pairs. Honours are shared in the last two, but the last time uh, they met was in the quarter-final of the China Masters at the end of last year. Three games it was in Shenzhen, 58 minutes before the Chinese pair beat the Olympic champions, 21-15 in the deciding game. So they had a very good start to the year, I must say, the number two seeds, because they won the very first World Tour event of 2024. And that, of course, was the Malaysian Opener, one of the four Super 1000 events. But let's start uh, with the Olympic champions, and the taller of the two players is Wang Chilin. He was a quarter-finalist here twice with his former partner, Chen Hingling, who I suspect will be on the coaching bench for him uh, a little later during this match. 29 years of age, as you can see, uh, from Taipei. A current world ranking of 10, but did spend a total of three weeks across two different spells at number two on the world rankings. So his partner, Li Yang, as I was telling you, is a former champion here. In 2017, he and Li Zhe Hui beat a certain Matthias Bo and Kasten Morgensen in the final. He's a year younger at the age of 28, also from Taipei. And he won 78, which equates to about five foot 10, whereas Wang Chilin at just over six foot one. So to their opponents, and this is Wang Chan, who is 22 years of age, uh, from Ningbo in Xijiang province on the east coast of China. Uh, they are currently number three on the world ranking, but did spend 12 consecutive weeks as world number ones. Tall man, as you can see, 180 equates to about five foot 11. And his partner in the background is a very strong looking athlete indeed. Liang Wei Kang is 23 from Guangdong province in the south of China. Not quite as tall. 176 is Ready five foot nine and a half. And I know that because that's how tall I am. Our umpire for this one is Chris Yip from Hong Kong, China. And Evil Castle from Switzerland will be the service judge. Well, as the players get ready, I can uh, welcome uh, Steen Pedersen into the commentary area. And Steen, 
Well, it's always uh, a fascinating time when you've got Olympic champions playing against former world number ones. Yeah, it is. It's a match that I really look forward to. But uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the strapping on Wang Chilin's arm, I must say. Well, I do apologize. I think we have one or two technical issues. I certainly couldn't hear what Steve was saying. Well, I think we've got that solved. Our technicians are in attendance. Can you hear me, Jill? I can hear you That's now, super mon ami. Important. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Li Yang and Wang Qilin, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Wang Shang and Liang Wei Kang, China. Wang Shang to serve to Wang Qilin. Love all, play. So it is the former world number ones nearest to us, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang. The Olympic champions from Chinese Taipei, far side of the court as we're all looking down at the moment. So Steen, seeing as I hadn't pushed the right buttons and couldn't Service hear you, uh, perhaps you better block. just uh, tell me what you were saying about uh, these two pairs. No, this is definitely one of the matches that I've been looking forward to uh, in, in today's uh, schedule, but I'm a little bit concerned about two the amount blocks. of strapping that uh, Wang chilin has got on his right arm. Yes, me too. Yeah, it's good placement. Surface over. Does have One, a little bit of a two. tendency, I think, seen Li Yang to wait over committed to either the forehand or backhand defence. Oh, what a shot from Wang Chan. Now, we've been here for a little Two while all. at the magnificent Adidas Arena, waiting for the sixth match of the day. Now, I've been looking at the drift, Steen, and let's see whether you agree with me. I think the shuttle is flying a little bit faster, coming towards us as we're looking down on the court at the moment, so yeah. towards the Chinese pair. Three, yeah, two. I, uh, I tend to agree with you. I, I think it's super difficult to to figure it out because it's not that much, but it seems to be significant anyway for the players. We've seen a lot of three game matches, uh, and I think there's also a little bit of sideways drift, uh, right to left. Oi, drag it's gone. He killed it anyway. No way, yeah. Kong. It was really quite extraordinary when Li Yang and Wan Chilin won the Olympic title. Yeah, that was, that was, I think it was a shock even to themselves. Yeah. But they took a bit of a break, didn't they, after that steam? Five, and uh, uh, it almost appears to me as if they've suddenly panicked and said, Cricket, we're not even guaranteed of qualifying uh, for the Olympic Games, and it's they've seemed to have been playing Whoa. so many tournaments 22 Six, tournaments two. last year. Uh, this is their fourth tournament this year. They've played an awful lot of badminton. Yeah, uh, Wang Chilin, he, he took a long, long break, and I don't think he's recovered from that, and, and the combination hasn't recovered from that. Um, I agree. Paul. In the Olympic qualification period, they've only won one tournament. Seven, two. And then they finished runner-up in, in two other tournaments, but the runners-up placement was in, in minor um, tournaments, the Super 300s. They won the Japan Open, but that's, that's their best result in the qualifying period, and that, that's extraordinary the way I see it. It's also their only title since winning Olympic gold. Yeah. All right. Eight-two. Well, this is extraordinary, isn't it? It's not only eight-two, it's eight straight points. Good flick serve. Nine-two. Yeah, a lot of two. strapping on Liang Bekong's uh, right 
arm and shoulder, but we've been used to seeing that in uh, the Asian swing in January uh, tournaments. Ten, two. smash and that was a much needed point by the Olympic Service champions oh, Three, goodness, losing ten. 10 straight points prior to that that's not what you expect from Olympic champions is it service over 11, three, so, a interval. game interval scoreline of 11-3 Eight point advantage for Liang Wei Kung and Wang Chang in just five minutes of play. No coach, it appears, for the Chinese pair at the moment. Yeah, he just uh, made his point quickly, Chen Chichu. There wasn't much to say. That was going according to plan. Right. He's back in his chair already. It's extraordinary. They're all following the lead of uh, a certain Korean coach. Yeah. Lee Kyung Won. 11-3, play. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, he did a full pirouette before he tried Service playing over. that one. 4-11. Whoa! Surface Whoa. over. 12-4. Well, I suggest, Steen, that that's uh, Five, what 12. Olympic champions have to do. They've got to start trying to attack. They've, they've not taken the initiative, really. And especially uh, if we're correct about the drift, that they're playing uh, with the drift at the moment, then they have a better chance of killing their attack on the far side of the court than, than when the change ends. But the Chinese have started out very well, and we know that Wang Chang is um, one of the very best front court plays so getting him 13, started is actually five. in my opinion the big problem for um, for the chinese taipei pair oh. what a lovely 14, serve five. my goodness me that was millimeter perfect Surface over. Six fourteen. Oh, oh, my goodness. Well, that's not helping their cause. Surface over. Service 15, error by the six. former winner of the French Open, Lee Young. Sixteen six. Oh, missed it. Service over. Seven sixteen. It just seems a, a fraction off the Service pace at over. the moment. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're not uh, up to um, the pace that they need to play in. 
Well, there he was, Liang. But, but this um, is over. Eight, soft touch game around the, the service situation. Got to be uh, ready for it. Service over. And the thing is, if you're eight. nursing an injury, especially an arm injury, then you won't be able to practice as much as you uh, want to on court, I suspect. The oh, total that, miss. Yeah, it went under the net. 19 8. Just two Five. points away from the opening game. The number two seeds from China. Service over. Nine ninety. Most of the attack is aimed at Wang Chilin. Yeah. Look at this. Yang hardly played Service a shot over. in that rally. When he looked a little bit disheartened uh, from the right uh, hand side of the court, from our view there, Li Yang. So, a whole host of game point opportunities uh, for Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang. Oh, Ooh, service error this time. Service over. 10 20. That'll do. Game. Second game point First opportunity game by is Wei converted by the Wen number Chang. two seeds. 21 10 confirms our umpire at just 11 minutes for the opening game. Well, the Olympic champions have got an awful lot to think about. <laughs> Yeah. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Well, this is fascinating to me. Wang Chilin at the back of the court talking to his former partner, now his coach, Chen Hung Ling. And during the whole of that conversation, that must have been almost a minute, Li Yang stayed at the kit boxes. <laughs> yeah. He looked like he was sort of uh, standing guard there, uh, making <laughs> he sure. Did. He did a bit, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, that, that's very telling. Uh, that's the sign of a um, player that's uh, not in sync. Yeah. Either it's the game that they're discussing, or maybe they're also discussing whether, uh, I don't know about the arm, maybe it's just a precaution. And it's, it's easily. Uh, Second game. Easily uh, continuing, but it could Level also be thinking about flat. whether it's wise to uh, put extra strain on it if it's still. Uh, not totally healthy, that uh, right arm. Nice drop. 
Service over. One block. that you think, Steen, that the Olympic champion should be doing tactically to turn this around? Yeah, I, I think that... Oh, you missed that one, Wang Chang. I think that uh, when you play uh, Liang and, and Wang Chang, one of the keys is always to uh, sort of switch them around because Wang Chang's so strong at the net, uh, Liang Wei Kong with such a big smash. So you want to oh, oh. challenge them in their uh, non-preferred position. Service you want to challenge Liang One, at the net, three. you want to play in front of him, get him to do the creative stuff, and, and let Wang Chang hit the smashes from the backcourt. So if Wang Chang can kill it from you at the backcourt, or Liang Wei Kong is, is creative enough from the front court, well, then over. they're probably going to beat you. So but, but that's what you want to do. Yeah. You want to, you want to uh, make it as difficult as possible for the Chinese and, and definitely get, in the, uh, get on the attack. Service over. Two, four. I will play back at uh, Young now. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Four. That's well done. Service over. Five, two. I will be tempted to, to flick to, to Wang Chang. I'm, I'm not sure we're, we're going to see it. I think Li is believing his own capabilities at uh, the front court. Got so much trouble turning the defense around. Um, nice. Oh, they're challenging. Champions. Wen Chiling challenges caught yeah. in. That was too fast for me. I didn't really uh, get an opinion on whether it was in or out. Way out. Correction. How on out. earth was that called in? Six two. Play. Thank goodness for the instant review. Play. Oi. Well, he leapt <laughs> in the air and his seven. <laughs> a very flat smash. I'm not sure if that was mistimed or whether that was intentional. It, it looked like a mistimed shot. Eight two. So they've su suddenly come alive again. Yeah. Yeah, I alluded to it in Service the opening over. game, didn't I, about how he gets Three, stuck sometimes eight. in defence. There he was determined to play a crouch defence and he was hit basically down his backhand side and simply couldn't deal with it. Behind his left shoulder, yeah. <laughs> crouching down. And it's not the first time he was caught earlier on in the first game as well. Service over. 9-3. This is interesting. This indicates that the near side here should be much better than the other. There's the flicker. Mm, just long. Goes down service as a over. service error. Four, it's his second. Nine. Oh, I beg your pardon. That was Wang Chi Lin that served that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's one service error piece from the Olympic champions. That's a lovely return. Service over. Ten four. Oh, my goodness me. 
No. Service over. Pretty much landed Five, on the blue carpet. Yeah. So change, far wide. Change the racket, pretend <laughs> the grip's loose. <laughs> Service over. 11-5. So to the mid-game interval. And a very different second game to the first, because here in the second, it's the Olympic champions who have a healthy lead. A six-point advantage. 11-5 in the second game. Well, Chen Chi Chu, the Chinese coach, taking much longer time to talk to his men there. He used all of his allotted time. <laughs> I wonder if they've... Um, that's going Eleven to be interesting to see if they've underestimated uh, the Olympic champions a little bit after the uh, relatively easy first game. And we're going to see uh, a much tougher battle now, or there simply is a little bit of difference, uh, a bigger difference on the side than I uh, suspect, expected. Service over. 6 11. the longest rally of the match so far. Oh, that's, that's a place. beautiful drop. And we have the total opposite position of the first game where the Chinese Taipei pair was lifting a lot. Now it's these two here. Beautiful reverse slice. To skies drop. That is just lovely. Well, long of the back line. Thirteen six. And getting Wang Chung to a part of the court where he's not as comfortable as the front court. Oh, that's great play. Yeah. Well, you said 14, a little earlier, Steen, that Li Yang looked as if he was going to trust his ability at the front of the court. He almost always does. And, um, and when he gets his game going, he's... Uh, a fantastic player, but sometimes there's so many mistakes. I mean, if, if you don't have the right read on the day, Service and over. you still uh, Seven, take a lot 14. of uh, high-risk uh, chances, there was again the crouch defense. We can say for, for both pairs, it's definitely not a Korean-style defense that they're presenting. <laughs> it's much more uh, survival. Oh, that's good. Service Looking over. sharper by the rally. 15, Won't she leave? Much better play. Yeah, that's a good return. Service over. 8 15. It's a good tumble serve. From uh, Nine, Liang Weikong, one of his uh, strong points at the front court, and makes it difficult for the opponents to target him really well on the front court when that serve is working. 
Nice. Service over. 16-9. Short. Yeah. Got caught on his defence yet again. The uh, Service over. 10, 16. Committed to the backhand. Oh, oh dear. This is second over. service error. 17, 10. Eighteen ten. Well, it looks almost certain that he will be treated to a third and deciding game. Service over. Eleven eighteen. difficult to figure such a dramatic turnaround. Yeah. I think your point about the ends must be having a much bigger effect than we had realised. I think so. And, and um, Game point to me, this is 11. a sign that the drift is perhaps the other way than I thought. First of nine game point opportunities. That's gone long. Okay. And one game all. Second game won by Li Yang and Wang Qilin. 21-11. 21-11 confirms our umpire. Twenty-six minutes into the match and one game all. <laughs> Ah,我们更好的是,我们拿到主动了 Twenty seconds. So the players back on court. Level play. And the umpire calls for the third and final game to get underway. Service over. One low. And it seems that in the first two games, the pair playing the near side of the court here, they've had the advantage in the attack and also in the flat game where it seems like 
the pair on the far side, whoever it has been, has not been able to match the flat game. And that's why I got the um, I thought maybe the One drift all. is um, actually uh, different so that we get a little bit help in your shots here because the shuttles, we've seen that are, are on the, um, on the slower over. side. They're not really slow, Two, but, but um, they're definitely not fast as we um, sometimes experience it. Oh, yeah, that's a good deception. What a great return of serve. That is lovely from the young. Service over. China's success at this particular tournament in men's doubles discipline, it's not the best tournament as far as Chinese success is concerned. Steen, only two pairs from China have won the men's doubles here in the Super Series and World Tour era. The first was the very first Super Series uh, year. That was 17 years ago. Chai Yun and Fu Haifang won the title. And then six years ago, Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Haodong yeah. As an unseeded pair. They were a fantastic so uh, pair. Unfortunately, Han Cheng Kai Three, four. had to retire. That's right. Was it a bad back? I'm not sure exactly what uh, the problem was. Good service. Nice. Lovely disguise drop again from Li Yang. For all. Yeah, we should see a lot of battle for initiative at the moment, and um, playing a creative shot like that is simply brilliant by uh, Li Yang. We've had trouble putting the uh, attack away in the first game on that far side of the court, the Chinese Taipei pair, so. I think variation is the key in the first half of this uh, third game. Four all. Oh. Uh, double hit. Very quick spot by the umpire. Five four. Eight tournaments in eight weeks at the end of last year for the wow. Olympic champions between the Asian Games and Service the China over. Masters. Yeah. That's, and that six. was across the world as well because there was a European leg of tournaments in between. And that's a sign that they're lacking tournaments with good results in. Yeah. Uh, I said right at the start, it was almost as if they were panicked yep. into Seven suddenly over. thinking, crikey, we haven't got a, Seven, enough good five. results prior to the Olympics. Yeah, and, and um, last week's winners, uh, Li Jiehui and uh, Yang Pusuan, they're not that far behind. No. Oh, you took a total tape. The service. Eight, five. And they're standing almost like uh, uh, Nine, two uh, female mixed doubles players at the service line. The Olympic champions, Wang Chilin and Li Yang, and they can't put it away. Look at that. Amazing. Service over. Six, 
Yeah, they almost seem to, even when they lose a rally, the two Chinese players seem to... Oh, it was called a fault. Deemed to have touched the ground first. Or did he say touch the body first? I don't know. No, I'm Service not sure over. either. Let's have another Ten, look. Six. Well, it must have been... Sort of touched the floor first. I'm not sure that was right. No. I think it was OK. Oh, oh that's a brilliant... What a serve. So, Eleven, uh, they change interval. ends in change this third hands. and deciding game with a five-point advantage, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang. No, that certainly didn't touch the floor. What on earth was the fault for? That was a beautiful final serve, though, from Wang Chang. Or maybe it was behind the back shot from one Chi Lin there. Yeah, but that, that looked okay to me as well. So. Yeah. Well, the score line is 11 6. Play. Well, if they're going to get through this first round match, the Olympic champions are going to have to start their comeback right now. Oh, strings have gone in one Chi Lin's racket. He missed it. Yeah, but it went long of the back row. Nine. I was, I was going to say 12, just before the six. break, they seem to be real characters, Steen, don't they? Wang, uh, Wang Chang and Liang Wei Kung. Even when they lose a rally, they smile at each other and laugh and joke. Yeah. And, and, and uh, I mean, that's not just because this is first round, because we've, we've seen them previously in... Uh, in finals. Yeah, and especially Wang Chang almost over. always got a little wry smile Seven, on his face. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Strong play. Super Seven important over. that uh, Wang Chang. 13-7. Kills this one from the back line. Not from the back line, from, but from the back court. He uh, made his way forward. Boy, look at the tumbling there. You had to wait. Uh, good positioning of the 14, smash seven. from Liang Wei Kang. Committed to the backhand defence, Wang Chilin. Pit down his forehand oh. side. Oh, he's challenging that. Uh, I don't think he'll win that, but but the out. way it dived, I mean, if we could get that from the uh, net camera, that was a fantastic serve. the Hawkeye decision. And the umpire is a little bit uh, tensed as well. He was the one who called it. Yes. <laughs> Looking at his little screen there to uh, his left. That's where he gets the Hawkeye. And do you see the uh, screens yeah. just by the umpire's chair? Oh, it was short by a whisker. That's good service. Challenge so the players can see it without having to watch One the um, jumbo remain. screen here in the hall. Exactly. Service over. 8-14. Play. He's up at his game, hasn't he, this Service man? One chance. Fifteen eight. Look how important the third and fourth shot are here. 
Third shot from Wang Chilin, a little bit too much above the tape and immediately punished. That's one left. 16 Time eight. is running out for the Olympic champions. Three consecutive men's doubles finals at the World Junior Championships for Wang Chung. Wow. That's, I wasn't aware of that. But that's, to me, is a sign that there's some special talent. Nine, exactly. 16. Because under 19, you've got to be under 16 when you first uh, reach the final, haven't you? Yeah. Maybe in three consecutive. <laughs> My maths is out again, Steen. <laughs> <laughs> under 17. Under 18 and under 19. Yeah. Age. Well, that's a good rally. 10, 16. Look at that. That's clever, clever play from Wang Chang. This is the final shot. But it was prior to that. Uh, he got his opponents out of position. Room for that, I suspect. 10. That's a problem when you fall behind at the uh, change event in the third game. You can't afford too many of these easy mistakes. 18, 10. Play on. Yeah, he doesn't want to change the shuttle. They're doing perfectly fine with that one, thank you. Good pressure. Service over. Yeah, surely it's too little too 11, late. Uh, we've seen some extraordinary comebacks in recent times, haven't we, Steen? Yeah. Kentamon Water, 1912. Yeah. And the decider against uh, Shrikand in uh, Badminton Asia Championships and uh, Rasmus Gimke against uh, oh. Krista Popov. Service a over. game in 1911 down. 1911. So it can be done, but it's a little bit more difficult in the doubles disciplines, I suspect. Yeah, I agree. Two points away from a place in the second round for the number two seeds. Make that one point 20. away now. Match point 11. Yeah, convincing third game by the former world number ones and number two seeds, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang against the Olympic champions. 21 11 in the deciding game, a match lasting match just won by Liang 42 Wei Kung minutes, 4 3 games. 10, That's extraordinary. 11, 21, 21 11. It's the final rally and safely through as far as the number two seeds are concerned. But it is worrying for the Olympic champions. They're nowhere near the form that took them to Olympic gold in Tokyo in 2021. Deep in discussion about the match, the Chinese pair, but there is confirmation that the number two seeds are through to the second round. 21-10, 11-21, 21-11 in the deciding game, beating the Olympic champions, Li Yang and Wang Chilin.
Welcome back to the Adidas Arena here in Paris. Day two of competition, first round action today at the French Open. Next up, we have women's singles, and what a match this should be. We have the former world champion, Arachnuk Intanon, up against the Olympic champion, Chen Fei of China, who also happens to be the defending champion at the French Open. 